Welcome to Wild Wheels of the World. Today we travel deep into the Monashee Mountains of the Okanagan, where there's a whole new way to ride on snow, and that has created a brand new sport. And we dig deep into the magic behind Snowbike MX. Salmon Arm is a small town, but home of Yeti snow bikes. Yeti has a kit that's like an adapting kit that you can put on any motocross bike that's know, right. that you want. That's really cool. Hey, Kev, your test dummies are here. Hey, Kevin. Hey, how's it going? Hi, Kyle Marcelli. Nice to meet hey, you. Hey, nice to meet you. Yeah. man? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So this is the brainchild, huh? This is it. Well, where this do we start? I'm looking at this Yeti. It's badass. I mean, the thing's incredible, super light. How does this compare to everything else out there, and why is this so special? We use carbon fiber. We use space-age technology. It's all done in an autoclave, just like everything in aerospace. We've taken off almost 40 pounds over a lot of our competition. When you put this onto a dirt bike, how does that throw off weight distribution, or, or does it? What you find is your bike gets you know weighted a little bit more to the front. It doesn't change that much the way you ride the bike. It really starts to feel like a bike again once you get used to it. So this is what I'm getting. If I'm on a snowmobile, I'm trying to side hill, get up the mountain, but I gotta carve my way back and forth. I'm hanging off the side of that thing. I gotta crank the bars, dig the ski in, get all my weight over top. I get on a Yeti. Sounds like I'm just straight up and down, cruise control, and sail that thing side hilling wherever I wanna go. Yeti's got four tracks from a 120 through to a 146. It may not seem like a lot, but that's a 75% increase in contact patch. I mean, I'm used to just keeping my wheels on the ground fast, but uh, but this is intimidating, I gotta tell you. I mean, what can I expect as a rookie on something like this? Is it gonna be easy to adapt to? Yeah, like... you know, there's a few little things that rookies usually do is like trying to put their feet down when you're in snow, okay. and then you just fall over because there's nothing to hold yourself up. Okay. But really, it's like riding a bike. You get on it, it, the snow's soft, it's got lots of traction, and you can just go wherever you want. What have we got to look forward to crashing one of these? The snow is soft, and that's that's the best thing. It's clean that's and it's they soft. Say. They say I water is soft too. It's like it ain't hard enough. It hurts. It's a giant yeah. airbag out there. Oh, yeah. sure. I, I gave him a little advice and told him the faster he goes, the less it'll hurt. Right? Sure. I agree. Well, I guess there's uh, only one thing left to do. Let's get on him and go. Better ride these things. Oh yeah. Man. <laughs> Sweet. <Now we're> talking. <laughs> Let's, do, Let's this. do this. Load them up. Okay, right. we'll see you guys up there. So how much snow will you see up here in the Monashies? We're early in the season right now, and we're probably going to step into two to three feet of fresh powder. Are you nervous at all? I mean, driving up here, it's, uh, you know, these are some bumpy, icy roads. Or, do I look nervous? Do I, need, <laughs> do I need to be worried? Are you nervous? Palms are a little sweaty, but yeah. I trust you. Yeah, I see a moose out there. <laughs> like in the oh, God. <laughs> Let's go give it a shot. Jump in the eddy is not a problem. Maybe not. Holy shit. Yeah, follow my track off. And once you get into the bottom, go that way. issues with traction. Uh oh tree! Again, I ain't no pro at this, but when I say pinner, I'm gonna uh -huh. need you to pin it. Good luck. This Yeti is a dream. Airtime. Well, Cam, that's a snow bike for you. Yeah, man, these Yetis were sweet. Definitely some wild wheels of winter. <laughs>